Hello everyone, I'm Waddling Duck, and I'm here to help you survive a longbow rush in the Age of Empires 4 beta. If you've played at all in the beta, chances are that this is a familiar sight. Plenty of guides are popping up with optimal ways to do the longbow rush, and it can be very difficult to defend against. Thankfully, you have a few options depending on what civ you are playing as. The Holy Roman Empire has the easiest time defeating a longbow rush. Just get to Age 2 and spam Man at Arms. Make sure you get the infantry move speed upgrade from the blacksmith, as this allows you to chase the longbowmen without being easily kited. The English have no counters to a man-at-arms until age 3, aside from mirroring you and spamming man-at-arms themselves. The Holy Roman Empire has a stronger early game economy than the English, so neutral trades work in your favor. If the opponent sticks with longbowmen against your man-at-arms, you can even go on the offensive. Men-at-arms can quickly tear through buildings, and they take relatively little damage from outposts and town centers. Throw in a battering ram or two, and you should be set for an early lead. The Chinese don't have access to men-at-arms until age 3, and you'll need a different approach. The most important thing is to scout the enemy and identify if they are in fact rushing. If they are, you cannot spend the resources to enter the age 2 dynasty right away, as you'll need those resources for your army instead. As longbows are highly vulnerable to buildings, you should build the Barbican of the Sun landmark first and use it to protect exposed resources. Remember that this landmark has 10 garrison slots and deals only minor damage if left empty. Once in H2, build a stable and start producing horsemen. In small skirmishes, horsemen will easily defeat longbowmen with similar numbers, as a single line of longbows are unlikely to successfully deploy palings in time. Once the English opponent adds pike come in into the mix, just play defensively until you can get to age 3 when you can train men-at-arms, lancers, or nests of bees. The Abbasids have a very difficult time dealing with the longbow rush. Like the Chinese, the Abbasids only have a single unit in age 2 that can combat longbowmen. However, unlike the Chinese, the Abbasids do not have access to a defensive landmark and are stuck relying solely on the outposts. This leaves you very vulnerable in the early moments of age 2. A major pitfall of relying on outposts to protect your villagers is the ease in which a group of longbowmen can kill a villager from near the edge of vision. Oftentimes, longbowmen will actually be shooting from outside of your vision radius. Most players seem to put their outposts right on the resources for faster garrisoning, but this gives you almost no reaction time and will result in the loss of a few villagers you trade. My recommendation is to not use the outposts to garrison villagers at all. Instead, place the outposts slightly further away from the resources and garrison them with cheap military units such as scouts, pikemen, or archers. This effectively zones the longbowmen out from your villagers and reduces the risk to your villagers by giving you extra seconds to react and move them if needed. Regardless of your strategy, you have to remember that quantity is king. A large longbow death ball will roll through a smaller group of any counter. The English landmark provides the production equivalent to two archery ranges, so you will often need at least two barracks or stables to keep up. Get the blacksmith upgrade for ranged armor. It costs the equivalent of about 2.7 horsemen or man-at-arms. That single point of ranged armor will decrease the damage taken in age 2 by 17% for a horseman and 33% for a man-at-arms. This means building a blacksmith from scratch and researching ranged armor is a better choice than additional units if you have eight or more man-at-arms, or 16 or more horsemen. Don't fight near the enemy's outposts or town centers. The English have a passive buff that gives all units 25% attack speed when near outposts or town centers, which can be enough for longbowmen to overcome otherwise losing matchups. And remember, longbowmen can't kill buildings on their own. If the enemy does stop to shoot at your buildings, leave them undefended while you train additional units or build new outposts. Although I went into more detail regarding outposts in the Abbasid section of the video, it can be a huge help to any civilization if you incorporate them into your build. Thank you for watching. I am new to content creation, so please leave me some feedback and subscribe if you want me to create more.